Alex, thanks for getting me on. Alex, I was a uh, Naval Academy graduate, former Naval aviator. I've been nuclear uh, qualified. I was also an airline pilot and one of our armed pilots. Um, I've listened to you over the years um, with a little bit of cautious skepticism, but I have verified many of the points you're making today and throughout your last shows. Um, it is coming true. The FEMA camps are for real. Um, and the government, uh, many of my classmates are still in the military. And the government is treat, well, they look at the public like three categories. You got your hiders, your fighters, and your runners. And if you know which class the people fit in, they know how to deal with you. You've talked about the arming the uh, local police, okay? So they're ready to, to fight us, okay? And they're outlawing, you know, victory gardens and everything else. So the people that are hiding, uh, they're trying to take care of those people too. Stay there. This is a really interesting call. Don't hang up, Brian. Thank you for calling in. I want to hear more from you. And, and yeah, they do profile people. And what he's saying is so true. And again, just because you're in a uniform, just because you know all this doesn't put you in the winning team. It puts you in the traitor team. And they're going to sell collapse scenarios so you think you're doing a good job when really you're playing to their fiddle. We're talking about the geopolitical global destabilization by the megabanks. That's who's behind it all. They've disarmed people worldwide. They're breaking up families worldwide. They want the dumb down poor populations. They've got big robot factories producing the robots to replace most of the Chinese workforce, the U.S. workforce, the French workforce. And, and you could say, well, humanity's ugly. There's too many of us and go along with that argument. The point is you're being targeted too. And they've decided to destabilize the country and bring in the National Stabilization Force. So we're talking to Brian in Arizona about the runners, the hiders, and the fighters. And he was saying, I guess he's talking to his folks that are still in the military, officers, and they're talking about all this that's going on. Uh, continue, uh, you were talking about the fighters. They've got militarized police locally. Uh, they've got the hiders. Uh, please continue. Yeah, the hiders, you know, they're, they're doing silly things like it's illegal to plant a garden over a certain size in your backyard. Um, you know, th those people that are going to hunker down, uh, you know, Arizona, we, we, we have the, uh, you know, a lot of people, uh, you know, our gun owners here. So it's not going to be the first state to fall for sure. Uh, but, you know, uh, everything you say is coming true. You know, watching this, this uh, you know, false flag race war they're, they're putting on is ridiculous. I've watched a lot of the YouTube stuff. Um, I asked a, a buddy of mine, former classmate, uh, very high level staff. Off the air, I'd, I'd be glad to tell you exactly uh, who it is and what my source is. But this guy... I asked him, I said, these FEMA camps for real? I mean, and he asked me a question. He says, if, he says, we have 100 million people on some form, some form of uh, subsistence, you know, welfare, food stamps. He says, when the government checks stop, he says, what do you think these cities are going to look like? He says, what are you going to do with the people? That's what the camps are made for. They're going to put all these people, you know. These people in the inner cities, they don't stock water, food. You know, we say uh, beans, bullets, and Band-Aids. That's what you got to stock. you got to have a bug-out plan, and you got to be ready. To expand on that, you can look at the 100 million people on welfare and how destabilized things are and say, oh, see, this is reasonable. But it was all maneuvered for decades towards this point, and... During the chaos, the system is training to take on Americans that will fight communism and socialism as the new political system to come out of the collapse. They plan to target us, shut us up as the counter-revolutionaries in their own words. This is from Bill Ayers, all of them. This is the doctrine of the, of the attorney general to then bring us out with wealth redistribution and socialism on the other side. And so it is just a nightmare scenario. And I hope that your high-level source, I hope you can talk to them again and ask them, are they aware of that? And surely they know that almost all the training is to target what you just said, the hiders. 
the people that are self-sufficient. I mean, look at all the movies, how they demonize anybody who wants to be self-sufficient and who is in any way a fan of freedom. What's your take on that? Well, they've, they've trained all of our sons to go over there in Iraq uh, and Syria and other places, and they've done knock and talks uh, with, you know, and seized weapons and, and interrogated people. And these young Marines and, and Army guys are, are, uh, are good at it. And Homeland Security made a mistake, okay? When they announced that uh, one of the enemies is returning veterans, and then right after that, there, there's a, a kill list for these guys. They're poisoning these guys. They're putting them on, on 10 different medications. These guys just want to, they've served their country. They just want to come back and get an education. And the next thing you know, they're so whacked out on a dozen different drugs. And uh, that's their plan. They want to poison these guys. They want to kill them because they're a threat. Because these guys are going to be what we're going to need. The Patriots are going to need these guys with, that are highly trained and that can mobilize your neighborhood groups. Well, well, Joe Biggs was in, you know, heavy combat army units in Afghanistan. They would order them to take opiates, painkillers, for no reason, and said, oh, you're under stress, just to get them addicted so they could then declare them with some type of mental issue at the end of it. And so you can see how much they hate humans, how much the globalists hate soldiers and warriors, just like they won't be around any of the troops when they're armed, because you know they want robots, and that's the next phase. So while they've still got to use humans, they are setting you up with the vaccines, the drugs, all of it, when you get out. Really good points.